Number 23, if vector B is added to vector C, which is, let's write it down, vector C is equal to 3 in the I direction plus 4 in the J direction, the result is a vector in the positive direction of the Y axis with a magnitude equal to that of the vector C. What is the magnitude of vector B? So let's choose our vector B to be a generic vector, which is BX in the I direction plus BY in the J direction. So this is our vector B, it's a generic vector. And let's say the sum of vector B and vector C is vector A over here. We just call the sum of vector B and C vector A. Vector B plus vector C is BX plus 3 in the I direction plus BY plus 4 in the J direction. However, we know that this result over here only has a component in the Y direction. So we can say it is uh, a Y in the J direction. So we don't have an X component when we do the sum over here. So we can notice that this is zero. So BX is equal to minus three. We already found that BX is equal to minus three. What else do we know? We know that the, the magnitude of this, uh, this vector A is equal to the magnitude of vector C. The magnitude of vector C is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is equal to 5. So AY is equal to 5. This is what we know from the, from the statement over here of this problem. So we know that AY is equal to 5. So this sum over here should be 5 as well. So we know that B y is equal to, to 1, right? Because 1 plus 4 equals to 5. So we know that our vector b is equal to minus 3 in the y i direction plus 1 in the j direction. And we want to find the magnitude of vector b. The magnitude of vector b is equal to the square root of minus 3 squared plus 1 squared which is equal to the square root of 10. And the square root of 10 is roughly 3.2. Is it? Is that it? Yes, that's the answer of the exercise.